Catherine, since you are the eldest. Okay. I've always admired the medical doctors in our society, and I would love to be one of them. I'll do everything at my best to save lives. Hey! hey doctor! Doctor! Hey, doctor! And now, over to you, Chioma. According to age, Marissa will come last. I've ever dreamt of wearing those white and black outfits and above all putting on those white wigs and walking majestically like no one's business to cut everything. Hey! Booza! 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 So? I would love to study law and become a barista. Hey, a barista! Barista the barista! <laughs> I love that. And what about you, Melissa? Fortunately or otherwise, I won't fall into your group because I will be a woman of my own. I will study business administration and go properly into business like daddy. Hey! <laughs> my every colleague! My dear, my daughter. Thank God I'm not alone. Uh, oh, and who is alone then? Hey. You think I'm alone, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the grace of God, mm -hmm. when my son arrives, mm -hmm. I will make sure he studies political science. He will not just be a president, but a world leader. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. For my colleague, and any of you that will wish to change her mind, there is going to be a mouth-watering shopping tomorrow. Hey! <laughs> you are going My to be women of substance tomorrow. Amen. God will bless your wishes, okay? What is Chama? Sister Katrina has gone to school. It's okay. My God! 
Sure, ma. And we're all out of the city waiting for you. I used to be in the works. I'm sorry. Let me just look fine and I'll catch up with you. Five minutes. I appreciate it, sister. Where is she? Mama. Darling, please. I just that excessive. Oh <laughs> Come, Joma, you look more like a masquerade. <laughs> wow. Hey, Joma. <laughs> ah, Sister Oge. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, how is it? Not too bad, my dear. You're welcome. How is the family? Well, we thank God. Please sit down. Okay. You're welcome. Agnes! Yeah. Please come. Sister, what can I offer you? Good question. You have something to offer. Not to me alone, but to the entire family. Meaning what? Offer us a male child. Offer us a male child, dead world. Eh? The worst is that you've been bewitched. You wouldn't agree to take a second woman who will give you a son. Edward, open your eyes. I say open your eyes. Oh. Okay, don't tell me you have come this far to destabilize my home. Let us come over you. So you have joined them, right? Is that voice? Now I will suggest you leave my house. Leave my house! <laughs> yes, leave my house! You asking me to leave your house? Yes! I would never <laughs> have you come here again with that wicked idea of yours. You are joking. You are joking, Edward. Simply because I've told you the bitter truth. That's why you are asking me to leave your house. And push me out. I said, come and push me out. You think you, you will erase the name of the family from... Such a terrible quarrel between you and your one and only sister. My dear, there's no problem, okay? Don't worry, there's no problem. Will you all come back here? Come here. Come back here. Kate, you. take your siblings back to your room, okay?
honey. Please, I'll, I'll like us to talk about something. What could it be that can't wait till tomorrow morning? I'm so tired. Sayat, I'm sorry. But I, I don't think there could be a better time to discuss this. Kathy told me you had a quarrel with Sister Gate today. Is that why you woke me up? I'm sorry. It was quite insignificant. Please, I don't want you to make an issue out of it. I beg you. Sweetie, I think you should deem it fit to tell your wife the argument that made you so tense. But I don't want to discuss it. Is it, is it because I don't have a son? Don't mind those fools. Honey, I still maintain you get another wife. If she could give us a son. bringing another woman into this house that I'm going to be giving a son. Tell me if you know it. Besides, who said you cannot give me a son? Even if you can't, why don't we remain grateful to God for the ones he gave us? After all, there are people who don't have any. But God, blessed us with three beautiful girls. Are they less than children? You see, gone are those days when women are regarded as lesser citizens. If I train them very well, definitely they will measure up with their male counterpart anytime, anywhere. Stella, please, don't mind my people, okay? It's okay, my dear, it's okay. It's okay, Stella, it's okay. God. It's okay. God, please give me a son. It's okay, he will give us. It's okay. I don't think it is possible. Please, I don't think it is possible. Who is asking you to take another wife? We are only suggesting a mistress who can... Uh, that can do what? Yes. That can what? I think I've taken a lot of you people. For someone who has a lot to do in his office, I think I have to attend to them. If you don't mind, you can excuse yourselves. Edward, you are a shame to this family. A big shame indeed. Huh? Now leave my office. I said, leave my office. Shame on to you. We are not going anywhere until this matter is settled. Then I will call the police if you don't leave my office now. Do you hear me? Are we no longer men? I wonder. We are. Where we see our mind. The thing is that you refuse to open the door of your house to us. So we decided to come to a place of war. That woman cannot consume your wealth alone. And mind you, she is evil. She has not even given us a male child. And yet what? Who will inherit your wealth? 
Who will answer your name? That is why we are here. Is that not so? That's why we're uh, here. Security. Yes, please, you have a duty in my office. Thank you. old men from my village out of this office and never allow them access to this place again without my clearance. Do you hear me? Yes sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes sir. Madam is Asad crying. Who? Madam. My own wife. Yes sir. Habibi is so alarming. God. Doctor, thank you very much. It's okay. I've heard what you said. Can I see her now? Yes. We can we can go and see her. We can see her. It's okay. Your mom will be fine. Fine. It's okay, don't 
Chiara and Lisa. They're in the car with the driver. The doctor said you don't need a crowd now. Honey, please. Tell him it's my wish. I want to see my children. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Kate. Yes, sir. Go to the car and call your sisters, okay? You'll be fine. Yeah? I know the agony you are passing through. I can feel it. Because our soul is entwined. Try and be strong, okay? You'll be fine. It's okay. Honey. Yes, please. Our daughters. Our daughters will grow into women of tomorrow. Say that again. They will achieve what most great men cannot achieve. I pray. I love you, Dad. I love you too. I love you very much. I love you. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Stella. 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 No, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Edward, my brother, it is really unfortunate. My father was so bothered to pay you condolence. So I decided to come along with him to come and see you. Sorry, my son. It has happened. Thank you very much, sir. It's really sad. My wife departed leaving these kids to my care. My prayer <laughs> remains that God will give me the strength to take care of them. Please, help yourself out with a drink there. <sighs> this is not time for celebration. Don't bother yourself. You're welcome. Take heart. Thank you, my dear. Having completed your husbandship with that clinic, I pray that they will return you. Okay? I so, Daddy. I'm really proud of you. My barrister, <laughs> what is happening? Daddy, I must confess, law school has been so stressful. I no longer find time to make up as usual. You know now. <laughs> I thank God I'm coming up well after all, you know. Come, 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 come. For now, I have to give you a part at the back. Daddy. Yes. Wait, when wait, you graduate wait. from law school, you will receive a warm handshake, okay? <laughs> so, my colleague, what's up? Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Joe? Yes, Chief. You've ironed my clothing? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, actually, Dad, I am still compiling my project, but I'll soon be done with it. Well, more grease to your eyebrows. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> um, my main aim of calling you all home is this. You all are mature and have made me proud in one way or the other especially through your academics. 
So I want to say thank you very much and God bless you all. Bless you too. Bless you too. When my people were laughing at me and your mother, <coughs> God bless her soul, I knew that a day like this shall come. When the rejected stone will be made the head cornerstone. But I assure you, one thing is to be done, and that is perfect excellence. The only enemy to perfection is satisfaction. So, I advise you don't be satisfied with any level you find yourself. Press until you get at the top. Even at the top, don't ever relent. Let the sky be your limit. Okay? Yes, sir. So, what am I saying? Be of good behavior. Do your best to continually front the good name of this family. So that wherever I may be, I will look down and smile. Okay? But Daddy, we're very good girls, aren't we? Of course we are. We'll always make you proud. That I know. But challenges will definitely come. I know very well that the witty will always win. Okay? So I wish you the best. Thank you. <laughs> Daddy, did I tell you what happened at the clinic yesterday? What is it? Mm -hmm. They brought in this man. Hmm? They said around their area they didn't pay NEPA bills, so the NEPA cut off their light. They disconnected their light from the pole. He now climbed up to the electric pole to reconnect illegally. Daddy, he was electrocuted. Hi. They brought in him like this. <laughs> Why are no, you really, guys laughing? That's what you get when you... I'm not joking. He was like this. I've never seen a thing like that before. He was as stiff as... today everybody me and my sisters everybody's coming back yes yes yeah. <laughs> joy please hold on let me take the hold on now let me take another call hello yes miss kathy edwards my father <laughs> my father left this morning for the airport he's supposed to be traveling to
that the burial is over, what next? I'm the eldest, but I don't even know where to go from here. What am I supposed to do? Sister, we really have to stop all this crying. I mean, it's not going to offer us any solution to our problems. We have to face the fact that Father is dead and he will never come back to us again. Let us start thinking on how, how we will stand on our own feet now that we are orphans. How are we going to stand on our feet, Melissa? How? It's okay. <laughs> the family lawyer said he was going to come and take us to the office to do a formal introduction. That is a good start. And let, let us start from there now. All we have to do now is, is try and fix a date that will be convenient for all of us. It's better than sitting here man, from morning till night crying. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> stop crying now. <laughs> Toma is okay. <laughs> for us to know who or who takes over what as it affects the company and of course ah they're already here this way please barrister chooks please be seated yeah hmm. you're highly welcome Ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying before their arrival, we are here today for no other reason than to get acquainted with our late bus heirs. And to help us carry out this all-important assignment is no other person than Barrister Chooks, his lawyer. But before I call up Barrister Chooks, let me use this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to thank you immensely for your rapt attention. Barrister Chooks, please. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, before I say anything, I would like to introduce to you the children of your labors. By my left is his first daughter, Miss Catherine. Is over. <laughs> Seated directly behind her is the second daughter, Ms. Choma Ezoba. <laughs> and the last but not the least is Ms. Melissa Ezoba. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is a memorable occasion to sustain what Mr. Zorba had lived and worked for. I was with a man for over 30 years as his lawyer, so I can say with confidence that I know the man. I know the spirit 
his own spirit that has kept this company up to this level. I can also claim to be familiar, very familiar indeed, with the spirit of the staff, which is the driving force behind the growth of this company. the helm of affairs in my father's company. I'm the eldest. What experience has she got? I acted on your father's instructions. Why do I find it so difficult to believe you? For heaven's sake, if my father will give us such responsibilities, it will be to me. Me, Catherine. So don't lie against the dead. Miss Catherine, I lie not. Your father's will is yet to be officially read to all of you. If I act this way, don't you think there is a record? What could be his reason? Okay, is it because she read business management? <laughs> but even at that, for God's sake, I am the eldest. What can she do with the... Can't you see what I'm trying to say? Excuse me, I have a case to do in court. <laughs> I don't believe this. Excuse me, sir, you have to listen to me. For God's sake, just hold on a minute and listen. Excuse me. Melissa meets my friend, Osandu. Osandu, my younger sister, Melissa. Hi. Hi. You are beautiful. Thanks. Um, can I see you for a minute? Mine, sure. Excuse me. Look, I'm, I'm very sure if Daddy were to be alive, you wouldn't have done this. Besides, you don't know who this guy is. You don't know if it's for real. You don't know what he does. I mean, you have to be very careful. careful. Are you insane or something? Girl, if you must know, I've known Oswando for some time now. And I don't think it's wrong for me to invite him to the house. But even at that, it's none of your business what I do. Then let me make this straight to you. Don't you ever, don't you ever invade my privacy. Does it make sense? I'm sure it does. Excuse me. Sit down. Just so you know what you're doing. 
It's very urgent, I need that importantly. What could it be? Personal? But shh, I do not wish to discuss that. Please sign. Sister, how can I give out 200,000 just like that, I mean, without any formal... Lisa, you just might be at the helm of affairs in this company. That does not change the fact that I'm your elder sister. Are you going to sign that or not? Hello, I'm in a hurry here. Have a good day. How could my sister change so suddenly? to bring you words on the decision of your father's relatives about your father's property. Like I told you earlier, we will inherit your father's property. But that does not mean you are relegated to the background. In fact, you will be shared out to those of us who are your father's relatives for us to take very good care of you till every one of you gets married. I think that is a very good arrangement. Do you have anything to say or do I proceed? Uh, um, yes, Uncle. <laughs> See, actually, um, you know, there are a lot of my father's property which none of you know about. Yeah. Yes. In fact, you know my elder sister, I mean our elder sister is not around right now too. Yes. You have to give us just a little time, you know, so we could put up the necessary requirement to assist you people get my father's assets together. Oh, oh. you've answered very well, my daughter. Huh? That's very good of you. Well, I will take words home, and in my humble opinion, I will suggest that you be given two weeks. The investments and property are to remain as we shared them in the village, so that when you show us the unknown ones, we then know how to append them to every one of us accordingly. I think I 
cambiaron de huevo. Okay, uncle, thank you so okay. much. Ah, There's no girls. problem. My good daughters. <laughs> There's no problem. Remain unruffled. We are there to help you. We will solve you. your problems. Thank and, you, uncle. Uh, you are our daughters after all. Safe journey. Thank you. Get everybody in the village. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah? You heard that. You heard that. Oh, God. What are we going to do now? What do we do? I suggest we have to wait for Sister Kathy to come back. Then we have to contact Daddy's lawyer before something terrible happens. You're welcome, my uncle. I'm sorry, sir. This is the much we can afford for now. I hope you can manage. This is even more than enough. <laughs> You're welcome. You have tried. Okay. okay, thank you, sir. Um, why don't you all relax and enjoy yourselves? Let me go and get the documents that you need. Oh, oh, yes, okay. yes. okay. Everybody, hands off. You're under arrest. Get up. Take them off. Get up. Stand up. No. What are you doing? Stand up. Get us now! Get us now! Get us now! Get us now! Get us of them. That one with the red cap. I don't know what they call him. Mm. Pa, whatever. Pa, whatever. whatever. <clears throat> um, we are going to share you people amongst our uh, uh, shareholders. Who will take care of you until you are all married. <laughs> 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 they are so lucky I wasn't here the day they came. I know now. I trust you. Can you imagine? <laughs> don't worry. They will spread the message. Yeah. Yeah. Why, 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 are, why are some people like Come right in. Move inside. What is your name? Ugo. Ugo. Check for Ugo. Yes. Go and collect your things. Move in here. Come this side. Oh yeah, now you get this thing. You don't finish. Stay here. What is your name? Opana. Check for Opana. Opana. Look at it, number 12. Go and collect your things. Sign. 
inside. Can you get this one? Yes. Any other thing? Yes. Yeah, carry on. Yes, sir. Come here. What is your name? Gideon. G Gideon. Okay. Gideon. Go and collect your things. Okay. Hey, come here, come this side now. Ah. Come this side. Come stay here. Uh, sign and date. Just signature here. Write your signature here. You know they see where others write. Sign their own. Sign their own here. Sign for this place now. You know, see where that's the sign. Now come this side. Oh, yeah. You get another thing here. Yes. Waiting. My shoe. Uh, pick up now. Line up there. Officer. Yes. Take them to the TTO's office. Yeah. Take them out for a moment. As you can see, there is no mention of you anywhere in his will. So, why don't you stay away? And for your information, if anything happens to any of the girls, or if you lay any claim on any of their properties, you will have to face the law. Meanwhile, sign this life guarantee.
advise you to go and get busy so that you can own your own property. If you had been sincerely busy, you wouldn't have had the time to get into this kind of mission. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you sir. You're such a lovely girl to be with. You know, you've brought so much joy and happiness into my life. I have big plans for you. But I have to get financially stable to tie it up. There's this business I'm about to embark on. It's going to cost a whole lot of money, but eventually, if I become the sole distributor in Africa, then we'll be sure of our children's future. And without wasting time, I'll take my queen to the altar to say I do. And after the marriage, we'll travel to any country of your choice for our honeymoon. Um, about how much is involved in the business? Well, um, around about 10 million naira. But I don't want you to bother your pretty head about that. I've decided to take a loan from the bank. Loan? No. How can you go through such a long process? Okay, let's take it this way. I'll give you a check for 10 million naira and you could probably start off from there. I can't possibly accept that kind of money from you. Why? Anyway, I'll accept it on one condition. Which is? That you treat it as a loan and I'll pay back with interest. <laughs> Suits me, sir. <laughs> Because if she doesn't grant me the release of that money, I swear to God, this house is not going to contain us. One half for me. One half. Melissa. Melissa! What is the problem? You listen. I want the money and I want it fast. Because I want to use it for something very serious. Do you understand? Sister, she has said it all. 
But I mean, I can't dish out that sum of money just for nothing. I can't. Now you listen. And listen good. You're going to give out that money. I give you 48 hours to get that money. Do you understand? I think it is high time we begin to teach you how to regard your seniors. Do you know what? I don't even think I need the money. I need the money times two. Because I want to open my own chamber now. So transfer the money into my account on or before 16th of this month. Does it make sense? Sister, I mean, what kind of legal chamber would cost such an amount? What kind of interior decor do you intend to use? Melissa! Melissa! I said you're going to give her the money and I meant it. You must give her that money. Can you imagine? I think I know what to do. Sakati, can I see you please? You're really beginning to take too much in this house. You begin to bite more than you can chew. much longer are we going to wait for her? Uncle, there's virtually no need to wait any further. Because you might end up not coming back at all. Why don't we just proceed? But they're all supposed to be present at the meeting. Uh, let's wait now. Waiting. Oh my god. I I never knew you were to be here. Are you sure? Of course yes. Melissa, are you saying you have no knowledge of this meeting to hear the origin and delivery of your father's will? What? No, I... I was not informed, sir. Mm. Uncle, whether or not she was informed, that's besides the point. She's here now, why don't we just go on? In that case, ladies, the hearing of your father's will is hereby postponed till the 20th of next month. Uh, I will personally circulate the notices. But uncle, she's here now. What difference does it make? Good afternoon.
Elder! Elder! Madam. Where is Timothy? He's in the garden. You, come here. Yes, madam. Timothy! Timothy! Yes, madam. Sissy Rose! Ngozi! Come here! I summoned all of you here to tell you that your services are no longer needed in this house. As you can see, my father who employed you is late. And we no longer can put up with the huge amount he pays you for salary. So you all go in there, pack your things and get out of this house. Madam, pity me now because of my children. I said get out or did you not hear me well? Madam, my children. Please. Madam, please. Oh, come on, shut up. Go in there, pack your things and get out. Sister, what is this you're trying to shut your mouth? What gives you the right to interfere in my business? Well, sister, the company paid their salary, not you. Thanks for reminding me. I have given them the orders, and they sure will take it. If I come back here and meet any of them out here, <laughs> there's no telling what will happen. Excuse me. Eighteen kilometer estate at first track. West Drive C close. A quintuplet four story building at Kenneth Street, numbers thirteen to sixteen. And finally, forty acres of land at Garki Abuja. And fifteen at forty three Motala Mohammed Road, Abuja. For his liquid assets, we have 43.7 million Naira, 7 a bank PLC, 56.2 million Naira, Continental Bank, 72.8 million Naira, West Bank, Nigeria PLC, 122.4 million Naira, Unique Bank, Nigeria PLC, and finally, 134.2 million naira at Standard Bank Nigerian PLC. All account numbers are listed in brackets. You will see all these in the copies I'll distribute to you later. For his shares in foreign and indigenous companies, I read as follows 18% 
Union Bank PLC, and on and on and on. You'll also find these things in the copies I will distribute to you later. Now listen to his will, and I quote, I, Edward Ezorba, hereby make my will as follows, and I quote, It is my will that my shares remain untouched till my next generation, and on no circumstance should it be sold out. The bank money should be given to my eldest daughter, Miss Catherine Ezorba, who shall share it equally between her two sisters, Choma and Melissa, and herself, respectively. Let the management of my properties and company continue, except where it's no longer profitable. And as such, my three daughters should decide what next to do. It is my wish that the company die not, but should stand as a memory of me, Ezoba and Sons Company. For now, my youngest daughter, Miss Melissa Ezoba, should take over the run of my company anytime she indicates her interest to do so. Unquote. When your father wrote his will, he was a very sound mind and body and was not influenced by anyone. A copy of the will was deposited with the High Court in his lifetime. It is my advice, therefore, that anyone who is tempted to contest this will should consider these facts. As I said earlier, I will distribute copies of this will to you later. Do you have any questions? No, sir. No. Okay, I shall leave you now. Thank you very much, sir. Have a nice day. Bye, bye. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Melissa. Melissa. Come back and sit down. I'd like to have a word with you. Well, I thank God that Daddy left the sharing of the liquid cash to me. And if you were smart up there, you would have been able to sum up the amount. 400 million. Yeah. Good. So I'm going to share the money so we know who gets what. There's no reason to leave it for later. Now, I, as the eldest daughter, I'm going to have 200 million naira to myself. 150 million to Chioma being the second. Yeah. And then 50 million for you. What? You heard me. Do you have a problem with that? Okay. Good. I mean, look, I, I, I don't mind giving you people everything. Okay, I, I really don't mind. But please. Let me make an appeal. Which is? I'm listening. Do not sell daddy's company. Leave it for me. Who said anything about selling his company? Marva, what are you going to do with a dead company? It is the wish of our dead father to keep it alive. So please, leave it for me. Good. Why don't you run along with your vision, girl? Good. That's good. You want the company? So shall it be. Girl, 200 million. Oh, it's a lot of money. I'm hot. <laughs>
You said you would not like to prosecute your sister for improper execution of her father's will. So why are you still bothering me? I mean, what else do you think I can do for you? Sir, I don't want trouble. They are still my sisters. Besides, my father won't be happy to, to see us in court fighting over his wealth. Now tell me, where do you get the form to run the company? Because the accountant's report for that last month shows that the company is still accumulating huge deficit. Melissa, do you know what it means for the company's account to be in the red? How do you intend to cope? Sir, please. Something could still be done. I mean, I believe mine is, is, is still the greatest. I mean, it, it's like holding and keeping the ghost that lays a golden egg. My sisters may have the golden egg, but mine could still yield a thousand more. If, if, if only I keep it alive. If, if only we do not let it die. Please. I know you're watching me. It is obvious your daughter is tired of trying. I'm not encouraged to continue anymore. But I want the life of our company for the memory of you. Father, please help me. Help me, please. Help me. Never mind, my, my daughter. daughter. There's, There's sudden change, change on your, your sisters. sisters. It's, it's not, not normal. normal. They, they shall realize, realize their, their mistakes, mistakes. If, if only, only it, it will not be too late. late. All, All the same, don't, don't be, be discouraged. <laughs> ah. Lisa, why are you standing there crying to daddy's portrait? <laughs> Are you beginning to lose it? Okay, I know what to do. I'll call in a psychiatrist because I really think you need to see one. <laughs> Honey, I've paid in the money into your account. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. You can call the bank to confirm it. Could you please talk to your staff for me on this one favor? What favor, please? I... I went through the company voucher yesterday and... I found out for myself that the company has only 2 million naira left. Which is an outstanding 2 month salary for your staff. That's correct. GM, I have a dream. Really? I want to go to France. What for? Do you know any of my father's business associates over there? Yeah, yeah. Good. I knew you would know. Um, I want to go there and give it a trial. You know, maybe we could start up something new with them. How exactly do you mean? Like, you know, Maybe we could get some credit supply with a little deposit and then as we distribute, we send back their balance and then place other for some more goods. <laughs> Miss Edwards, I don't blame you. 
Our people have this saying that whoever never knows how a corpse was buried goes about exhuming it from the foot end. Meaning? Frankly, I don't encourage people embarking on mission impossible, more so where I am concerned. To him, what is impossible about this? Look, I saw some agreements documenting my father's heap of archives yesterday. All right, and believe me, I think they could be very useful. I'm afraid you will end up wasting your precious time and money. You see, this same idea you have now was also conceived by your late father, Chief Edwards. But it failed. That was my father. This is me. This is Melissa. Look, we are folding up. We can't just fold our hands and watch us fold. Even a man that knows he's going to fall still does something, even when he knows he's going to fall. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right, if you insist. So what's your request? It's better we tried something and failed than doing nothing at all. Do you understand? Yeah. I want to ask you to please lend me your one month salary meant for your staff for this trip. Let us take this risk together. Th this is our last resort. Please. Or would you rather lose your job after collecting your two month salary? Just yet. My name is Kathy. I'm Rosie, baby. Rosie. Yeah. Rosie, I like your car. Girl. Straight oh, question. Yeah. Who's your dealer? Mm hmm. I mean, what car much do you buy from? Uh oh. I can't say you're serious. Let me give you my card. Can you give me a call? Hold on. I'm sorry. If it will interest you to know, I have so much money and I intend to invest on machines like this. Yeah, this is my card. My name is Rosie Baby. I can say that. And yours? Kathy, I told you. Okay. All right, um, I'll give you a call sometime and then we'll talk about this. No problem. We'll meet at a place, maybe. No problem. Okay. Rosie Baby. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> I'll talk to him. No problem. Just give me a shout. I I'll love be there for that you. car. And you I shall not get please. it. Bye. The goods are already on the way. Really? But the problem now is how to clear them. No, no, there's no problem at all there. You see, once the goods arrive, our patriotic customers have a way of paying confidently in advance. And then, um, I think with that, we can clear. Of course, yes. Yes? Good. Then, you must start creating awareness. 
Make publications for interested customers. Okay? Okay. Cool. I'll do just that. Uh, congratulations in advance. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so um, glad for you. Uh, look oh, at I'm this. So happy. Just look at this. I told you. <laughs> ah, thank goodness. Surprise, surprise. And this is for you. You mean? This. And if for us, you and I. Here are the documents to the house. They are all in your name. do without you. You are my life. I will love you forever. I love you too, honey. You keep surprising me every day. I never knew any woman could love me the way you love me. Not even my mother. What is it? Honey, what is it? Don't you like the house or something? What is it? I love the house. Then what is it? Your people. Won't they begin to ask questions? Honey, come off it. It's my money. Honey, our money. <laughs> so nobody's gonna tell me anything about it, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. I will love you forever. I love you too. I will never disappoint you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. The best way to sustain every dual business is to keep it alive. I I want to officially thank every one of you for your support and understanding. The interest of this establishment remains a priority. I also want to appeal to every one of you to keep giving us your own alone support and cooperation for the continual growth of this establishment, both in strength and status. Opportunity to bring to you notice that apart from the two contracts that were awarded to us in France during my former trip, another bigger project have also been won in China and Brazil, respectively. Proxy of the World Bank project, which was handled by my father three years ago. <laughs> the board of directors will sit to decide who and who will be traveling with me. <laughs> Thank you very much, our Ivo MD. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It's good that you have all had this good news from the horse's mouth. Although our Bible MD is not a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we are back in full force. Thank God we are back in full operation. But this time around with international connection. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, please. Yeah, what can I do for you? Which among these clients do we drop their contract? Bearing in mind we have so much work at hand. See, these contracts are very hard to come by. And you know, most of the times, your clients just impose them on you without having any other substitute in mind. You're right. Then when you give them a good delivery, it guarantees you greater job opportunities. Mm, I understand you, but my concern is how we can meet up with their great date. In that case, you have work to do. Make officially through your office a formal appeal requesting for say about two months away from the agreed date and if it is approved then i'm sure we can deliver in less than two months i think that's a better idea Good. one more thing we must work hard to satisfy our clients always i agree with you Have a nice day. thank you Um, Rosie. Yes. This business that you told me about, I think I'm interested. All right, I'll break it down. I'm the eldest child from a family of three. I lost my father last year, mm -hmm. and I inherited 200 million naira from my father. Wow. So much money, won't you say? Oh. And in less than one year, I don't know what happened, but I'm left with 70 million. Wow. I can't afford to go from grace to grass. I mean, look at this luxury. Tell me about this business. Girl, you are a good candidate for this business. If you invest 70 million in just one good trip, you stand to gain it six times over. It try to convince you. Are you serious? Girl, this has been my line of business for years. This business brings fast cash. It try to convince you. Rosie, I hope you know the kind of money we're talking about here. I do. All right. Um, for a start, I'll invest 30 million. Yeah. All right? But we really need to sit down and talk this over. My dear, let me tell you. Those agents you are saying are very good agents. They even career for me. They have regard and trust for me. In the time being, let me show you around my mansion. Yeah. This is beautiful. Do you have to push 
If you know who you are dealing with, you leave me alone. Move her, move them. How can you just barge into my house like that? What gives you the right? By the time I call the commissioner, you see what trouble you've got in yourself. I have to talk to the commissioner. He doesn't even know you're here. Just one phone call and you will get this action. Nonsense. Hello. Catherine, this is Rosie Baby for real. I'm sorry, girlfriend. You see, in this business, we don't have steady friends, we don't have steady enemy. Oh, oh. You don't know what you've done wrong? I introduced you into a business. The next thing you did was to double cross me. Oh, oh. You can't tell that to the baby. You are in for it, and I'll make sure you don't come out from there. Excuse me, is that Sandra in? Me, I don't know. What Sandra, I don't travel since. Are you sure you know who Asandu is? Yes. How can Asandu travel without telling me? Did he leave the keys to the house with you? Okay, I beg, madam, they go. Okay, I don't want to see anybody here. Okay, I beg, go. Go. You mean the agent that sold this house to me? Sold? to open the joint account with him after I had sold three of that buildings to buy my house. <laughs> Melissa, what did I get? Disappointment. The man that I did everything for. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> Lisa, I am in pain. <laughs> if you like dying. <laughs> Thank God you remembered I am your sister. People don't even come home anymore. Not to talk of asking after your kid sister. Or not after you people changed your lines. Come on, stop crying. It's okay. Stop crying. It is not the end of the world. I believe 
God has a lesson he wants you to learn. That is why he allowed you to go through this bitter experience. Okay? Is Catherine aware? No, she's not. It's been a long time I saw her last. I... I suggest we pay her a visit. Sometimes hover crumbles around her But she meets it all with dignity She's been up She's Yes, hold it. Yes, can I help you? Huh? Can I help you? Uh, um... I said, who do you want? Sorry, I... We are looking for the owner of this house. We, um, we, we, we bought jewelries from her, gold jewelries from her, so... Young lady... We, we want to collect our money. Listen, it will be of her own interest never to come back to this house again. Because the lady in question has been under police net for months now for drug offense. You better revise this car now before I change my mind. Can you now revise this car now? Can move this car. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Move it. Sorry, sorry. Move it. Same offense. <laughs> Let's rather look for solutions to this problem. Hmm? I've sold almost oh. everything that I bought from Daddy. I paid the money to some men in power to get me out of here. Lisa, they've not been able to do anything for me. And the NDLA has taken every other thing and they've frozen my account. I don't even have money to pay for them to get me out of here. Tell my sister, don't let me die here. Thank you, please. Please, please. It's okay. I don't know what God is. I'm sorry. It's okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
here, madam. The manager said I should bring this mail to you. It's from the president. He said it's an invitation for an international program called Award of Excellence. Is there any problem? There is no problem. Thank you. Please take it easy. I should be on my way. All right. from the international seminars we'll be having, which I am going to present some papers. There's going to be this um, lecture on business management in about six countries, including America. After which I'll be going to Canada for the grand finale. Once again, congratulations. Suddenly the management and staff will miss you so much. 
Never mind, I'll be back before you know it. Okay, and um, please make subscriptions to our specifications. Okay? And don't forget, excellence should always be our watchword. Okay. Thank you. Um yes. The accountant should pay in these checks immediately. Okay? Alright. Thank you. Yeah. I think that'll be all. Okay. How I wish I'll be privileged to travel with you to witness the whole ceremony. Mm -hmm. from Nigeria. More on the fabulous for them, please. And now, it is time to invite a lady of local and international renown. A lady whose head has stood so high above her neck. A lady with masculine composition, a cyclic contractor, an economic revivalist. She is a political and democratic catalyst. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, 
May we now call on the award recipients for today's occasion, Miss Melissa Edwards. And to present this honorable award is the hosting president, Your Excellency. Before this presentation, ladies and gentlemen, may we please hear one or two words from the recipients. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you very much for giving me today. And I also want to bless the Lord for giving me a day like this. I feel highly honored and lifted, but with a heavy heart. I cannot receive this award with joy because my other sister that is supposed to be here with me today is now wishing in a prison back home. I want to please make an appeal. Please, my sister, for me. If you do this for me, I'll remain grateful to you today. Please. <clears throat> Get up, my daughter. Stop crying. Get up. Get up. Your request is quite a simple one. Consider it granted, no matter the offense. <laughs> For having made my country proud, all I need is to be forwarded with her name and the prison where she is. Before you get back to Nigeria, she is released. Uh Ladies and gentlemen, we now present the Award of Excellence 2004 hosted in Kumasi, Ghana to Miss Edwards from Nigeria. This girl has made me and my entire state proud. This is wonderful.
Now that all this are in the past, I think we have to put our lives together and try to see how we can have a reconstruction. Chiamo. Don't you think it's high time you set up your own chamber? Or you don't want to practice anymore? My dear, I want to, but there is no money. It's okay. Look, give me a proposal of what you will need to set up your own chamber. I'm willing to help. <laughs> it's nothing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And what about you, big sister? Do you still want to wipe away tears from the eyes of the people? Do you still want to make Father proud wherever he is, just like you promised him? Do you? I've realized my mistakes. Now I know how stupid I was. I'm so ashamed of myself. But I'm ready to make amends. I have written an application to faith clinics. I would love to practice for at least two years before I think of opening a clinic of my own. I don't know what to say to you. I want to tell the both of you that I, God has really blessed me. God has blessed me tremendously. I, I don't know how to explain it. But I know that it's because of the three of us. I mean, look at us. We are orphans. We need to be together. We need to be one. Whenever anybody has a problem, whatever it is, please, do not hesitate to come to me. I am willing to help at any time. I mean, everything I have is for all of us, okay? <laughs> I forgot to tell you, my beautiful sisters, that I'm getting married. <laughs> Wow. Uh, my fiance is coming into town too, this from now. He wants to come and meet you mm -mm. as the head of the family. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give him a long list. You know, as the elders now. Sure. Know. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you have to come and do a muga for us. Definitely. <laughs> and you <do. sighs>